do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so friends now we are going to learn about the laws of osmotic pressure which are three laws and what are those and what are the expression to determine the equation of osmotic pressure let us see so friends as on your screen you can see there are three laws the first one is van't hoff boyle's law the second is van't hoff charles law and the third is van't hoff avogadro's law these are the three laws which are earlier also studied by us that is this are the gas law but they are related to osmotic pressure and hence they are and hence they have name like van't hoff boyle's law charles law and avogadro's law so let us learn each and every expression or each and every law very deeply and let us find it out so talking about the first one that is van't hoff boyle's law it states that at constant temperature the osmotic pressure which is denoted by pi of a dilute solution is directly proportional to molar concentration or it is inversely proportional to the volume of solution so based on that we can see a very normal equation as pi is directly proportional to c so it is very simple to know that osmotic pressure is directly proportional to c in this case the c is nothing but concentration and the concentration in terms of molarity while this law also states that the osmotic pressure is inversely proportional to the volume means if the volume of the solution increases then the osmotic pressure will go on decrease so it was very much simple and let us go with the next one now the next is van't hoff charles law it is very similar to charles law but in this case only osmotic pressure is there and hence we have to evaluate this definition in that format so it states that at constant concentration osmotic pressure that is pi of a dilute solution is directly proportional to the absolute temperature which means osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the temperature at constant concentration or constant volume in this case the osmotic pressure is directly proportional to t which means if the temperature increases then the osmotic pressure will also be more so therefore as pressure is directly proportional to t similarly osmotic pressure is also directly proportional to t that is temperature and ultimately van t hoff avogadro's law avogadro's law deals with the number of moles of particle which are present and we have to analyze that how it is related to osmotic pressure it states that equal volume of isotonic solution which contains an equal number of solute particles at the given temperature means it means suppose if i consider a two solution which has the same osmotic pressure and which has same volume in it so this shows that the both of the solution will have same number of solute particles and vice versa if i would say if the two solution will have the same concentration or have the same volume then the osmotic pressure of the both the solution will be the same and since the osmotic pressure of the both the solution will be the same it will set to be an isotonic solution so based on this three laws we have defined that what is van't hoff boyle's law what is what is van't hoff charles law and what is van't hoff avogadro's law so based on this thing we'll evaluate an expression that we'll learn in future so i hope you have got to understand what are this three kind of definitions and what are the terms involved in it So thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe igra.com thank you so much